Okay, so hi, I'm Cory Acosta. Um, I'm running for VP of Facilities and Services. The main reason that I'm applying for this position is because last semester I was trying to get a referendum to get gender neutral bathrooms in at least some of the main buildings on campus. And I tried to contact the office and I left two notes on in the front office. And I also had Nicole McAllister helping me talking to the people in the office. And nobody ever got back to me. And to me, that speaks a lot about the government that's supposed to represent students. And my three main points for my platform are inclusion, equity, and access. Inclusion, by inclusion, I mean my personal experience of like not listening to students as individuals. If I were with an organization, if I were going through with like, for example, TTF, Transgender Task Force, that's been working on this for forever, my voice would still not be heard because t TTF has been working for a long time to get this done and nothing has been happening when they already represent that group of minorities that are not being accommodated. Also, um, there's uh, there's a lot of changes that are going to happen to the BMU pretty soon with the addition of the new cafe where conference services used to be and also there's been talk about the top part of the Wildcat store and also Common Grounds is not going to be there anymore and I've been hearing rumors about maybe getting the, the GAC office uh, m moved to a different location and making it bigger when that's not necessary. There are organizations like um, Student Life and Leadership that are not even in the building and they're in the SSC and that's, that's not acceptable. And also having an organization like the GSIC which brings huge events to campus like Take Back the Night and Vagina Monologues and they have a tiny office in the in the basement of the BMU. That needs to change. When other organizations have huge offices and have a lot of interns, well, the GSEC also has, is an equal organization as the other ones, and they're not having like the space needed. They don't even have offices for the director, and we've had problems with people coming in and trying to have a private conversation, and the director having to leave the GSEC office to go to speak someone in common grounds, and that's not acceptable. That's They're not being accommodated. And also something that I learned through the GSEC was equity, which is another point in my platform. What I learned about equity is that it's the difference between giving everyone a shoe and giving everyone a shoe that fits. So um, with that, I want to say that um, I'm a transgender student on this campus, and I'm one of the small minorities um, amongst a lot of them that are not being accommodated. We all, we all pay the same amount for student fees. We all are feeding into that big pile of money that adds up at the end of, of all the fees getting together. Um, and I'm not being accommodated as everyone else is. There are other minorities such as like handicapped students that aren't being accommodated either. For, like there's no bathroom in the first floor of the BMU. So if someone really has to go to the bathroom, they have to take the elevator down one floor, which sometimes, you know, that takes a while. And find their way back like down to the bathrooms. And that's an inconvenience. That's something that no student on this campus should ever be worried about. Like me, if I'm in Butte, which most of my classes are in Butte, I have to leave the building and go all the way to the, to the bathroom, the gender neutral bathroom that's closest to me, which would be either Kendall or the, the library. And I would miss like 15 minutes of my class, and that's not fair. So I believe that everyone should be equitably accommodated. Also with the, another change that I, if elected, I would strive to correct, is um, the REC is a fairly new building. It's fairly new, and it's an insult. It's a slap in the face to, that they barely made a family bathroom, which is now the gender inclusive bathroom. There's no access to the pool that's not through a locker room or an emergency exit. I don't want to have to go to the front desk and ask to get swiped in to go in through there to have everyone point a finger, like why is that person walking in there? I'm not being accommodated, and we're all paying the same fees. And there are other people on this campus, other small minorities that are not being accommodated, and that needs to change. And there's also a my third point is access. Um, as I said, we all pay these the student union fees, and individual students are not being able to access the facilities that they're paying for. There's, there was a problem with Elect Her. I don't know if a lot of you heard. Um, an individual student, Kirsten Foster, she tried to bring this event on campus, which is an amazing event that tries to get more women into office. and 
<laughs> there was a huge problem with this because they tried to like avoid the fee of four thousand dollars to rent out the BMU and go through the GSEC, which is an organization that would get the auditorium for free. So then we tried to do that as, as a GSEC and there was this huge problem with the policy saying that as an individual student cannot do this, that the $4,000 fee had to be paid when that person already pays their student fees. So then that, that isn't fair. Students should be able to access their facilities and uh, like the policy needs to change in order to accommodate every student on campus. And also I know that there was a problem with STOP recently, well maybe not recently, but fairly recently, that um, they were going to host a human trafficking event and they were going to get this organization that uh, Jada Smith works with and they were trying to bring it to campus and they were pretty much asked to bring someone that would speak in favor of slavery so it wouldn't be kind of like a biased event or supporting any kind of political inclination. So then that's, that is, nobody wanted to come in and speak in favor of slavery. Just. So then that event never happened. So then this huge event that would that is um that would contribute to the mission statement of the school and the BMU was not was completely dismissed because of that small policy. And there's a professor here, um, Michael J. Cole from the political science department, and he's he put together 53 different emails that he got that he got from the community and from alumni and from students uh, from Chico State that just pretty much are criticizing the current policy, the facility use policy. And if elected to to office, I would. I would strive to change that and also transparency within the organization. Um, what we're doing is for students and is funded by students, so students should be involved in the whole process. And if elected, I would have an open door policy and anyone that has any concerns or any comments or complaints as I did when I wasn't heard when I approached the office, my door will always be open to anyone that needs to be, a, that, that wants a change. So, and that's me.